Hey folks, this is Gazwan Kari over at SharePointQuester.com. Today we'll be going over reporting against features with PowerShell in SharePoint 2010. So the other day I was talking to a customer and uh, her requirement was to get a list of all the features that are activated on a specific site collection or web application and she didn't know that you could actually run a very simple command line and get that piece of information about your uh, SharePoint uh, features that have been activated on a specific site collection. You can actually do it at the site collection level, web application level, or farm level as well. Uh, so let me walk you through this real quickly. I'm going to open Start PowerShell. So we're going to do uh, Start SharePoint 2010 Management Shell. I'm going to right click on it and run as administrator. and this is going to be fairly simple so I've got the site collection uh, URL on top what I'm going to do here I'm going to say get SP feature and we are going to say site so this is where you can change your scope site web web application form I'm going to say site and we're going to type in the site HTTP SharePoint 2010 Two nine four eight one dash sites dash prod. That's all I needed to do. Click enter, and here's a list of all the features that have been activated on this specific site collection. Now I could do the same thing, and I can change this to the web application. So I'll remove sites and keep it to two nine four eight one, and change the scope from site to web application and get a list in there. Uh, let's go back and put the site information in there. Say I don't care to know all the features. I want to know if the reporting feature is enabled on a specific site collection. So what you'll do is exact same uh, exact same snippet but here we're gonna say dash identity and let's look if we have reporting feature enabled on the site. And if so it will show us. If not then it will come back with a nice error that looks like this saying this feature is not enabled but if it is uh, if it is a feature that has been activated then you'll see it come back with the ID and the scope so this concludes this video thanks for listening in